gods descended to the lower world. Humanity is at war, waged against a pure evil known as monsters. It's over there! That way! Don't let it get away! <laughs> Something happened after you disappeared. Glad you're okay. You know wandering off by yourself on the 19th floor is very dangerous. So, um, Master Bell? Who is this? Let's head back. We can talk on the 18th floor. Mm -hmm. oh. Out with it, Master Bell. Who is this person and where did she come from? Don't tell me you rescued a mysterious girl and made yet another mess for us to clean up. <sighs> The hell is that, Bell? Wait, you guys! She's not. Get away from it, Master Bell! What are you even thinking? You gonna keep it just because it's got a pretty face? If I didn't know any better, I'd say you're treading awfully close to monster fetish territory! No, that's not. Master Bell, monsters are monsters! They are our enemy! Bell, get out of the way! Master Bell! Well? Right. That's me. That's my name. Um. Uh, Bell? N name is Bell? Tell me you heard that. It just spoke. You gotta be kidding. <gasps> Master Bell, what exactly happened to the two of you? I spotted her on the 19th floor. Being chased by adventurers and attacked by other monsters. She was shaking and crying. I want to help this girl. Not a chance, Master Bell. If we were caught harboring a monster, our familia would be done for. Look, guys. I can't leave her. <sighs> Fine. Do whatever you want. I'm sorry, everyone. Thank you. What's our next course of action? Do we dare take her back to the surface? That's right. In the dungeon, she's at risk of being attacked. Let's take her home and talk to Goddess Hestia. Take home? Uh-huh. Let's go to our house. There's trouble brewing, Uranus. 
A monster possessing intelligence has made contact with an adventurer. They shall exit Babel shortly. And who might this adventurer be? Belle Crenel. The little rookie, eh? That's one of Hermes' favorites. What say you? For good or ill, the Hestia Familia is currently the center of the city's attention. I must discern whether or not Hestia's children are up to the task of becoming their beacon of hope. What did you just say? Of course I've never heard of a talking monster before! I... I figured as much. To tell you the truth, it's kind of hard to believe. But, uh, the poor thing does seem scared, though. Does that mean... Yeah, I say we keep her here for now. <sighs> okay, so, you got a name? My name... is Belle. Oh, uh, that's my name, actually. What's yours? What is name? My name? Guess she doesn't have one. Her species is referred to as Vivra. She doesn't seem to have a name of her own. Come on, you gotta name her, man. Huh? Well, that's right, Belle. You're the one who brought her home. Take responsibility for your actions and be a good father. Uh, 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 then, uh, let's see. How about Vilusine, then? Master Bell, isn't that a name from a spirit fairy tale? Yeah, it is. You like it? Well, it's better than what I thought you'd come up with. That's way too long. Also kind of pretentious. Very much so. In that case, how's about we just shorten it to Vine? Vine? You say? Uh, Vine? Vine? Is name? Vine name? I am Vine? <gasps> Still, the fact of the matter is, this small girl is a monster. So we need to gather some information. We should split up and look for clues. One, we need to find out if there's others just like her. And two, if there's something weird going on in the dungeon. For now, let's keep this between us. Outside of Hephaestus, Miyak, and Take, we don't want any of the other gods or children sticking their noses into our business. Anything you can get your hands on. Search for leads and report back to me. And that's about the gist of it. Do, uh, you have any theories? <sighs> well, it's rather difficult to believe. Anything is possible. There are things in the lower world even we gods cannot anticipate. <sighs> Mikito, what are your thoughts on all of this? The talking monster, I mean. I'm not sure. She doesn't strike me as being hostile. In fact, she looks just like an ordinary girl. But I can't shake this feeling. I mean, she's a monster. And quite frankly, that bothers me. You hear the rumors? About the monster who swiped a bunch of dungeon supplies? You mean the one toting his sword around? I heard it showed its ugly face on the middle floors, too. Yeah, and it roughed up those poor Rivera bastards real good. I heard that, too. Oh, look, that's the one. Say I do. Can you point me in the direction of someone who may? I know a thing or two that you might find interesting. I wouldn't expect too much, though. Mudhound? Yo, oh, whoa! Someone actually knows my nickname? Excuse me, I'll take one me, please. Go on. Hmm? Tell me what you know. Mm, you see, I lost a pretty penny in a bet the other day. 
pain off my tab might be kind of tough, you catch me? <clears throat> any real leads. And, well, Lord Takami Kazuchi didn't have any ideas either. Yeah, same here. It's a long story. <sighs> Belle? Go on, Lady B. <laughs> Welcome to home. <laughs> well, it looks like you two bonded. Wow, Haruhime, you'd really make a great mom, huh? Tasty. I like it, Mikito. Uh, oh, thank you very much. You are really good at cooking. Haruhime told me that you are the best in the kitchen. No, I'm not. I still have a lot of room for improvement. But still, getting such genuine praise warms my heart. Lady Mikito, have you already forgotten that she's a monster? Don't let your guard down. Don't be so uptight, Miss Supporter. At times like these, it's important to keep positive, isn't it? You're being way Talkative, hasn't 
she? Yeah, since our picnic earlier today. Thing is, squeaks ain't the problem here. You sure this is a good idea? <sighs> so, do you not trust her either? <laughs> I just don't want them to get their hopes up, you know? Uh -huh. Come on, Miss Supporter, get over here! Or I'll just think no so! No need to be shy. I'm fine! <laughs> I bet this probably feels like a huge weight off your shoulders. Are you sad she's not glued to your side anymore? No, not at all. How come Belle isn't in bath with us? Well, um... Master Belle is a boy, do the math! strange relationship. It's tricky. Dreams, but in the dreams, 
I attack them. <sighs> Claw at them. Bite at them. Rip them to pieces. Everything around me turns red. In my dreams, I am always angry. But then, it gets colder. A bunch of people remind me of you. They're protecting someone from me. My body gets colder and colder. I feel empty inside, like there's a hole in my chest. And those people, they look so beautiful. After that, it is always the same. I turn a bright red and then everything goes dark. I scream for help, but no one comes to save me. It is a scary, lonely dream. And you traced these monsters from the smugglers to the buyer, is that correct? Yes. We found them bound by chains in a cellar. They were on an Elorian estate. Lulune, you mentioned something about a child who was looking for leads on talking monsters. Yeah, a tiny elf girl I haven't seen around before. I followed her, but she ditched me with a god-awful stink bomb. <clears throat> I lost her. Our client's demands are not negotiable. We need to get as much information as possible. God damn it. This is a doozy. Thanks a lot, Uranus. So, the Ikelos familiar, eh? Hey? You let the Vivra get away. Unfortunately, yes. We lost sight of the damn thing somewhere on the 19th floor. It's probably being torn apart by other monsters right now. Ugh, precious opportunity gone to waste. That thing was worth some serious scratch. We could have sold it to those rich Ellurian freaks. Their nest is somewhere in the colossal tree labyrinth. But we still can't figure out where the damn thing's located, can we? The Vivre. It's such a rare find. I'm not inclined to give up so easily. Luckily, we've got insurance. Get me a list of every adventure in Revere at the time. Roger that. So, Master Ikalos, would you mind lending us a hand over here? <laughs> what an arrogant way of asking your god for a favor. Cocky little scamp. The gods can spot us mortals lying from a mile away. If that fever is still alive and some jackass is out there protecting it, I'm gonna need you to sniff him out. What a pain in the ass. <clears throat> Have you forgotten that I'm a god? Anything for you to keep the boredom at bay, am I right? Such is life, I suppose. Put on another good show for me, dicks. <laughs> to the dungeon, aren't we? That's right. I had a chat with Hephaestus, Take, and Miok. We agreed there's only so much we can learn about Vine up here on the surface. Normally, the guild would be a good place to start, but we have to keep a low profile. <laughs> Makes sense to me. If word gets out, it would jeopardize the future of our familia. And who knows what would happen yeah. to her. <laughs> exactly. So let's make this trip to the dungeon as discreet as possible, okay? Scope out the place you found her and surrounding areas. Check it all out and report back. Sounds like a plan. Bella, are you going away? Don't you worry. I'll get back as soon as I can. Let's do it. But let's get back here as soon as we can. If these two are gonna stay behind, it'll just be the three of us on 19. A trip like that could take upwards of a day. Okay. And remember, the last thing we want to do is ask the wrong person for help. Uh, you want to travel to Rivera? Uh, that's right. If you aren't busy, that is. I was hoping that you might lend us a hand, maybe. Any particular reason you're going? Well, uh, kinda. There's this thing we have to take care of today. It's sort of like a quest or something. Can you help? Hmm. My deepest apologies, Mr. Cronell. I must attend to my responsibilities here Bell at the pub. Cornell. Miss Aisha, what are you doing here? I was in the neighborhood, so I figured I'd pay Haruhime a little visit. That's when I saw a few familiar faces. What's a guy like you doing in a place like this? Um, to, to tell you the truth. Oh, wow. She's like an Amazon, right? 
Hmm? You're in need of a bodyguard, eh? Okay, I think I can help you out with that. Seriously? Uh-huh. It's just a quick trip to Rivera and back, isn't it? I've always wanted to party up with you in the dungeon. However... <laughs> my services don't come cheap, you know. <gasps> I missed my chance to devour you the last time. <laughs> Let's work out an agreement, shall we? <laughs> Unhand him. Do you hear me? Such vulgar behavior will not be tolerated. Uh, excuse me? Are you insinuating the boy is your prey? Do not get the wrong idea. Mr. Cronell and his intended have a commitment. Huh? Oh, yeah? <laughs> what a coincidence. I, too, have entrusted this boy with my dearest protege's lifelong health and happiness. I'd rather he didn't spout such nonsense. It will only confuse Mr. Cronell. Oh, I get it. I get it. You're worried that I'm going to get the first taste, so you're trying to butter him up with all the cutesy crap. How very like an elf. I cannot leave him in the care of a woman with such poor character. Stand down. Mm -hmm. Huh? I'm taking a half day. I apologize. Please inform Mamma Mia. Huh? Ryu? This woman is trouble. To protect Mr. Crenell's chastity, I shall accompany them on their journey. I'll be back in time to help with the dinner rush. Uh, okay. Well, I suppose it all worked out in the end. Being a famous adventurer sure seems rough. I can't imagine dealing with the extra attention. Yeah, right? Ah! <laughs> Incredible. It's all thanks to someone kicking my ass. After my visit to the Rakia camp, I hold up in the dungeon for a while to focus on getting stronger. Tianera, I see. It is true. <laughs> wow, you're not half bad. You as well. No blood. The 
And are you, by any chance, the individuals of whom Fell spoke? Fells, you say? Let me ask you, do you two believe that we are capable of coexisting? What do you mean, coexisting? What are you yammering on about? Your fellow brethren murder us in cold blood, while my brethren also slaughter your people. Is this our true destiny? Can we not see eye to eye? <laughs> As for me, I'd wish to bask in the sun. I'd like to soar high above a vast world, filled with a warm light rather than this cold abyss. There's something different about you. I have high hopes for us. Okay, you saw that too, right, Bill? She's just like Fina. Crack me up. 
Keeping our familias in check is a part of our job as gods. Well, they can put up with all sorts of crap, but they can't resist a good time. Sounds familiar, doesn't it? So as long as they keep me entertained, I don't really see the point in stopping them. They wouldn't knock it off even if you killed me and sent me back to heaven. They'll lay low and just worm their way into other familias. Then they'll just pick up right where they left off. <sighs> A fair point. <clears throat> Round up your friends you've got lurking in the shadows, and feel free to do all the digging you please. Go ahead, I don't give a rat's ass. It'll be much more interesting that way. So distasteful, these gods starving for entertainment. I see you, Haruhime! My goodness! Good job finding me, Vine! Now it's your turn to be it! Okay. I'll start counting then. Are you ready? <laughs> One, two, three, four. Get out of here! Save me! Save me! 
big consequences if you help her out. But I... I can't just leave her! No, wait! Vene! <laughs> Head to the hidden cellar! are assigned to the much larger familias. I can't imagine why the Hestia familia would be chosen for such a thing. <sighs> Proceed to the 20th floor of the dungeon with the dragon girl? What? But how? How does the guild know about Vine? Belle? <gasps> are you okay? Uh, uh... Don't worry about it. I'm fine. <gasps> it's okay, Belle. What's wrong? <gasps> Tell me what it is. I want to help you out. Just say it. <sighs> I gotta go. <sighs> I guess we got caught during yesterday's fiasco. You're wrong. If that were true, then this is way too soon. The guild knows everything, even Lady Vinay's species. I can only assume that they found out a while back. The thing is, I have no idea what they're trying to accomplish. We aren't being sanctioned yet, for one thing. And while well, they aren't demanding that Lady Vinay surrender either. Instead, they're sending us to the 20th floor of the dungeon. I wonder, why would they ask us to bring Lady Vinay? I don't know. I mean, what could be the point of all of this? You think we can pull it off? Getting to that floor isn't easy. Sure isn't. Plus, none of us have ever been there before. Sounds like it's all or nothing. Our safety be damned. If we raise our levels using Lady Haruhime's sorcery, we ought to satisfy the floor's accessibility requirements. But make no mistake, it will be a dangerous journey, to say the very least. So then what should we do? It was never our choice. We aren't allowed to refuse. I'm sorry. Everything is all my fault. 
Master Bell? You saved Lady Bine. Please don't be so upset with yourself. Everyone came to my rescue, and now I know true happiness. I'm certain that Lady Vinay feels the same. So please. <laughs> what she's trying to say is don't apologize. We're a familia. We support each other. That's right. We are all in this together. Yeah, see? That's it. <sighs> I suppose that's true. It is my job as Master Bell's supporter to be of assistance to him. Lily. Let alone those who have made use of it. I can count the number on one hand. 
I can only guess that this must have been built as an escape route for your master. Oh, a dead end? supposed to go this way? Yeah. 
Secret Lady V Day also. Uh, 
Slow down, everyone. Yeah! This one isn't able to speak yet, but she's taking a shine to you, Mr. Surface Dweller. It's a girl? wide open. <laughs> Can you tell me? What exactly are you guys? And Fine? The ground dwellers regard us as heretics. But you see, my friend, we are known as Zenos. That's the name we have bestowed upon them. The monster species that were born with intelligence. Hestia. You and your children have inspired hope. In not only those creatures, but also in us. We did. For a bridge leading down the path of coexistence between man and monster. Most people who work for the guild don't know anything about us. So then, 
Our mission to travel to the 20th floor was arranged by who? Proposed by Master Uranus and his crew. We agreed to lend a hand. To discern the potential of the people who would protect one of our brethren, he said. Basically, the head of the guild was testing all of us. But you know, after hearing about you guys, I had high hopes. Thought to myself, the winds of change are upon us. Coexistence between man and monster. Do you understand the seriousness of what you're saying, Uranus? Of course. Mankind and monsters can't live in harmony. It's been this way since the days of yore. Despite that... The Xenos are not apt to attack on primal instinct. They desire to have a dialogue. They plead their case not with claws and fangs, but through their words and logic. They wish to walk the surface. They want to know our children, to know humanity. These Xenos face violence from other monsters. Shunned and ostracized, they belong nowhere, not even in the dungeon. It is easy to dismiss their plight because they are monsters. However, these creatures possess hopes and dreams, along with a way to express them, just as our own children do. To deny their suffering and exterminate them would be unforgivable. <sighs> you really plan on making peace with monsters? Indeed. But if we wish to unite them with our children, we must first determine the reason for their existence. In other words, prove to mankind that their lives have meaning. And you think that Bell and the others can bridge the gap? That is the hope. <sighs> I know how you feel, but if anyone found out, my familia would lose their standing in this city for good, just like the Xenos. Of this I am aware. The decision was mine and mine alone. Gotcha. So they caught on, huh? Yes, my apologies. My <sighs> presence was noticed. That guy's got a keen eye, doesn't he? Ecolos's child. Dix Perdix, also known as Hazer. Captain of the Familia. He reached level four nearly ten years ago. What of the others? They split up and fled. We lost them on the way. They could be back on the surface by now. I'd expect that they'll make a move sometime soon. Keep a close eye on those middle floors. <laughs> Bunch of bastards! We should have stayed on the little rookie's tail a lot longer, Dix. Then we would have located their stupid nest. It is what it is. Keeping the Hermes family off our ass is our top priority. Damn, that worthless god is screwing us over. Big time. This could be pretty bad. If they caught wind of our smuggling operation, you can bet that the guild will get involved sooner or later. What's our next move, Dix? They didn't pick a fight with us, so I assume that means we have more firepower. You know what? This is fun. How am I supposed to stop now? The hunt is on. My, what a surprise. It would seem things have taken an unexpected turn. Fells, you came! Uh... Aside from Hermes, are my familia and I the only ones who know about Vine and the Xenos? No. There is one other. Ganesha. Ganesha? I am Ganesha! Does that mean the monster Philia was... Precisely. In order to curtail the public's animosity towards monsters, I enlisted Ganesha to host the event. To gain his cooperation, I explained the situation. Ah, uh, you're kidding me! That has to be the most bunkers thing I've heard all day! Despite his appearance, he is not one to gossip. Huh? Still, I'm surprised the whole unification of mankind and monsters thing has been in the works for so long. First, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Fells. I serve primarily as a point of contact between Uranus and the creatures known as Xenos. I was tasked with monitoring your behavior, including that of the Dragon Girl. Huh? So it was you? Fells has eyes almost everywhere. Because of these things, we can get in touch whenever we want. Hey, Master Fells, does that make you a monster as well? No, nope. Fells is human. Formerly human, to be precise. Huh? Allow me to show you. <laughs> whoa, 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 
whoa, whoa, whoa! A spar toy monster? As I said, I am formerly human. But what does that mean exactly? Fels is the sage, a magician of unimaginable power. Creator of the Philosopher's Stone from the Kingdom of Magic? The only person to uncover the secret to freaking eternal life? That's it? I yeah, that's probably the one. <sighs> I am the remnants of an individual once known as the Sage. In my pursuit of knowledge, I became obsessed with the thought of eternal life. Despite crafting a formula for immortality and regeneration, I was reduced to a living ghost. Nowadays, I go by Fells the Fool. Under Uranus' supervision, I observe each generation as it evolves. Fifteen years have passed since my first encounter with Lido and his comrades. We decided to call them Xenos, and they formed a community under that name. An organization that allows creatures born of the dungeon to function as a group and provide protection to their brethren. Ever since then, we've been living together and traveling as a group to avoid being detected by the aggressive monsters of the dungeon, remaining on the lookout for new companions. If you live together... Then does that mean monsters don't spawn in this area? Oh, how very observant of you, Lily G. Don't call me that. Adventurers haven't discovered this room, so it's considered uncharted territory. Plus, it's a safe point where monsters won't spawn. We call this place our hidden village. Dozens of these rooms are scattered across the dungeon. That's really interesting. <clears throat> Approximately 40 Xenos are before you. Of those, Lido, Ray, and Glose are the oldest members. <laughs> so, does that make you the leader? Yep. And you're looking at the strongest Senos right here. Well, that's what I'd like to say. Sadly, I got my ass handed to me by one of our newest recruits the other day. Seriously? Y yeah. He's trekking through deep floors by himself as we speak. He even says he ain't coming back until he's totally shredded. <laughs> <laughs> but, Master Fels, I can't help but wonder why you agreed to help the Xenos in the first place. Given their place in society, there's no logical explanation. It may be dangerous, but they seem capable of surviving here. Why are they relying on you? What exactly are the Xenos after? A life on the surface. <laughs> that is our only desire. I have this dream. There are enormous cliffs in the distance, and a red light sinking beneath them. An alien sky that drenches the world in red, bright enough to bring tears to my eyes. That sounds like a sunset. Have you ever been on the surface? No. Never. But somehow I feel. Maybe in a past life I live somewhere. Somewhere I could see the sky. Vine picked up the human language pretty quickly, right? Huh? Yeah. Some of our kind are capable of learning your speech patterns, while others are not. For some reason, those of us who can speak pick up the language almost instantly. In a way, it kind of seems like we're remembering something from a long time ago. My body gets colder. I feel empty inside, like there's a hole in my chest. And those people, they look so beautiful. An intense longing. Each Xenos possesses their own thoughts and feelings. However, the one thing they share is a strong sense of yearning towards mankind and the surface. I'm itching to see that sunset, but it's amazing. I would like to glide around in a world filled with bright light. My wings have made it difficult to hold my loved ones closely. I've always wished to know the feeling of being embraced. We're well aware of the fact that we're outcasts. We're hated by man and monster alike, stuck somewhere in between. You know, I can't help but think that Mother built these rooms and tucked them away for us as a sort of safe haven. Your mother? The dungeon from which we were born. Our own kind show us aggression, and they threaten our lives. Yet at the same time, it is according to the Mother Dungeon's will that we are permitted to exist. It's the life we've come to know. So you see, that's why we were so stoked to meet you folks today. 
And it's not because we expect you to help us or anything like that. Just knowing that there are surface dwellers who are willing to accept us for who we are. Hmm. I'm so glad we met you and your friends. <laughs> Uranus, if I may, can I please ask one last question? Of course. Is there something going on in the dungeon? Do you have any idea why these Xenos are spawning? What do you think happens to monsters after they die? Excuse me? The souls of our children return to heaven, then are granted life anew in the lower world. Given this precedent, where would a monster's soul go? No idea. Monster souls return to the Mother Dungeon. There they are given new form and are reborn deep within its walls. The monsters get reincarnated? It is merely conjecture, but I am convinced it holds merit. After being reborn countless times over the course of millennia, the weight of their desires and regrets has begun to transform their souls. But how? Perhaps it is the monster's sense of longing. Or perhaps it is according to the dungeon's design. I'd like to thank you from the bottom of my heart. I'm so glad that we met. Yeah. Same goes for me. Belchie, do you know what this is? Yeah, it's a monster's magic stone, isn't it? Um, the other monsters attack us. They see us the same way they see all of you. So like you, we gotta kill them in order to survive. <sighs> Munching their magic stones gives us a boost by enhancing our natural strength. What I'm getting at is, don't shy away from killing monsters. Don't let your concern for us cloud your judgment. If you hesitate, it could cost you your life. <sighs> Stay alive, you hear? I want to see you again. Why do you hate people like Belle? 
their familia and even their goddess was nice to me. Their kindness was no more than a passing fancy. You're far too naive. You know nothing of mankind's cruelty and deceit. Huh? Vine? Mm -hmm. I can hear someone crying. They're saying, save me! One of our brethren? Yes. She's in so much pain. If we don't help her soon... Oh. What should we do, Lanier? Sounds like there's no time to waste. Let's move! It's close. So close. She's right. I can hear it too. Close. Do you read me? We're on our way to recover a new comrade. Stand by at the rendezvous point. Wait, Lanier. It's too dangerous to go alone. I'll send backup. The woman and her voice. We can't afford to wait. Stand down, Lanier. It could be a trap. Huh? to the 
the dungeon for a little while. Don't worry, I'll be back soon. <clears throat> Stupid spider. You're wasting everybody's time. <laughs> okay, listen up. Haul these things back to base, and don't go dragging your asses either. Your buddies might be looking around somewhere. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? Strand of silk. Trying to leave some breadcrumbs, eh? <laughs> Not gonna happen, sweetie. Uh, anyway, she's a lost cause. But don't let her loose. She'll burn down the whole town. Make sure you dispose of it before you leave. Hey, uh, quick question, Dix. What is it? Since we're gonna be killing it anyway, you mind if we uh, have a little fun? <laughs> <sighs> Suit yourselves. That's right. Hell yeah. I asked so me first. Th then it's my turn next. Piss off, I'm next. <laughs> Be a good girl, okay? You know, she's hot for her blood. <laughs> Xenos. 
As planned, they are in the process of relocating to another hidden village. I have yet to receive word of their arrival. What's happened now? The signal from Lido's crystal has disappeared. What's the big idea, Glos? Why'd you smash the crystal? How are we supposed to get in touch with Fells? Seriously? Listening to Fells is pointless. You know exactly what must be done. Take it easy. I saw everything. I could hear the bloodshed. Those humans' evil deeds. The deaths of our beloved friends. We do not need Fells' help any longer. No one can stand in our way. We shall end this with our own hands. Revenge! We shall have our revenge for Lanier and the others. We shall rescue our comrades. Uh, and those savages are going to pay the price. Uh, wait. I'll destroy them, along with anyone who dares to interfere. I'll slaughter every last one of them. And let all of our hard work go to waste? Is that what you want? To forsake our fallen comrades' dreams? Not all adventurers, not all surface dwellers are evil. Some of them are like Bell and his friends. So how long are you going to turn a blind eye? Oh. That little brat is no different. He will abandon us eventually. Mankind and monsters cannot coexist. Come back to reality, Lido. <clears throat> we are going to rescue our comrades. We shall honor Lanier's dying wish. Yeah! that had its very own reason to live and it had feelings exactly like ours what would you do doesn't matter what if that monster were to hurt somebody <clears throat> if that monster were to make someone cry i would kill it without any hesitation Some sort of decisive action. Lo 
Lord Uranus! Why would you give such an order? Calm yourself, Royman. But this is pressing. We can't let the monsters continue their onslaught. Our righteous guild shall lose its authority. If those creatures were truly intent on invading the surface, they would have already broken down Babel's doors. More importantly, my divine prayer has yet to be disrupted. Oh, of course. Involving more familiars would cause unnecessary chaos and confusion. The Ganesha Familia will lead the subjugation forces. Mm, I understand then. Further instructions will follow shortly. Now go. Yes, sir. Mm. This is a problem. Very true. Ideally, we should have had a full grasp on the situation and devised a plan before sounding the alarm. Yes. Now, Feld, ready your familiar. Certainly, but... The participants of this mission shall be selected from our most trusted allies. You are to accompany them. In addition, I would like you to involve Belcranel. <sighs> Uranus, are you sure? This is the boy's moment of truth. A final test for the only adventurer to ever join hands with the Xenos. Is he merely a child swept up in the moment? Is he a puppet being manipulated by the gods? Or perhaps it's something else? <laughs> to attack. According to the adventurers who managed to escape, they were equipped with weapons and armor. It sounds as though there were several different species involved, led by a ferocious gargoyle. From what I know, the guild will be sending out the Ganesha Familia as the lead subjugation unit. We may be issuing further orders to more familias, so I encourage you to stand by at home. Oh, hold on a second, Aina. Um... What? Master Uranus wants to speak with Belle? That's complete bullshit! Just stand by! Why the hell would anybody leave this up to Ganesha? Plus, issuing an abrupt change to the mission. It's truly a bizarre situation. Well, at any rate, guys, I'm sure this won't be the last we hear of it. You know what I mean? It's just a hunch. Look, I'm not exactly thrilled about being kept out of the loop, you know. But I gotta agree with Finn here. It made far too many waves. It's not stopping anytime soon. How amusing that even Uranus has something to hide. And he wants to keep us as far away as possible. <laughs> Screwed up big time, dicks, didn't ya? <laughs> oh, what a glorious turn of events! No way! Bell hasn't come back yet? He hasn't. He's still down in the dungeon. But it's been placed on lockdown. They forced a mandatory evacuation on us in the tower. Oh, Bell, where are you? <sighs> Lady Hestia, a message from the guild. <sighs> in case of emergency, we shall call in reserve units? Maintain the status quo? So basically, we're supposed to stay put? They're recruiting Bell for the subjugation unit on the 18th floor! They're, They're what? what? What on earth are you thinking, Uranus? We don't have much time. Pay close attention, Bell Grinnell. Our assumptions are based on testimonies from the adventurers who have evacuated. However, it seems the Xenos did not exit the 18th floor following their assault on Revira. I firmly believe that the reason for their outburst, whatever it may be, currently resides on said floor. Nevertheless, I must verify this claim with my own eyes. But how will you manage to get down there? We have arranged to dispatch you to the dungeon. You shall infiltrate and move alongside the subjugation unit. Are you willing to help us, Bell Grinnell? Of course I'll help out. I insist on it. I have to go. I have to find Vine. <sighs> Dragging poor Belle into this. 
You've really done it now, Uranus. I'm surprised. You're usually eager to put him through one of your tests. I was sure you wouldn't pass up the chance. Well, there's always an exception to the rule. One wrong move and it's curtains for the kid. How's Volgar's party doing? They managed to survive, albeit narrowly. <sighs> Head down to the 18th floor, but travel separately from Ganesha's team. Get all the information you can and report back. Okay, what about you? I need to take care of something. I'm concerned for Belle's safety. Take Aisha along. Mr. Cronell is joining the subjugation unit? Yeah. Apparently, the rampaging monsters never left the 18th floor after laying waste to Rivera. They're holed up there now. Why are you telling me about all this? I'm too nosy for my own good. I only say this because you seem to have a soft spot for Belle Cronell. That boy is about to wander down a dangerous path. And how exactly do you know so much? Because I converted to the Hermes Familia after Ishtar bit the dust. Of all the gods out there, why him? <laughs> I have my reasons. Let's call it a mutually beneficial agreement. I'm assuming you must be headed to the 18th floor. <laughs> I see. In other words, it's safe to conclude it's no ordinary mission. Good guess. According to my source, the Ecolos Familia is involved somehow. Can you be certain about that? That would be the rumor. They're said to be in league with an illicit group called Evilus. Evilus. Understood. I shall be accompanying you. <laughs> Dicks! The entire city's up in arms and going crazy! Something about armed monsters in Rivera? You said armed monsters? It's almost too good to be true. So our prey has decided to make it easy on us and bring the fight right to our doorstep. Meanwhile, our god is nowhere to be found. Well then, how to proceed? Now listen, our job is to tame these monsters. Do not kill them, they are to be captured alive. Do you share about this, sister? We abide by the will of our master, Ganesha. We trust in his judgment and follow his command. Isn't that right, Ilta? <laughs> now let's get moving! Where have you taken our comrades? Speak up, human! <laughs> I, I swear, I, I, I don't know! Uh, do not play innocent. I can smell it on you, the scent of Lanier's venom. You reek of it. <sighs> Answer the question! What have you done with them? Y you will find a door along the eastern wall. A door! <laughs> <laughs> but you can't get in. It's impossible. Not without. Uh, Captain Shakti! Miss Ilta! Over there! It's the armed monsters! Nice job, bud! My name is Modok! You ought to know that by now! Yeah, right. I remember. I got you, pal. I just told you my name five seconds ago! You aren't even trying, are you? It would appear that they're headed east. Toward the forest. I wonder why. Okay, sister. What's next? Let's split into two groups. Mamanga, head to Rivera. Help any survivors you find. Roger that! The rest of you will be following me. Mama, we shall be Mama, heading Mama. to the east. Yeah! Remember, the targets are to be tamed. You are to bring them in alive. Go ahead without a threat. It looks like Ignatius kiddos are having a tough time, wouldn't you say? Do you see those armed monsters? They're strong. Our job is to merely collect information and protect Belkin. I'm gonna go down there. What? No! Besides, we've lost sight of Mr. Cronell. I'll search.
search for him while fighting. Everyone coddles that boy. Wait a minute, you two. At least wear your invisibility. Oh, come on!
is reacting to something. Then perhaps... Stand back, Belcranel. I'd say any attempt to sneak in would be futile. I hate waiting around. It's just stupid. This is my life when mm. you guys are out. Welcome to my world. <laughs> yeah. Master Bell. Listen, assuming that the Hunters were the cause of this whole fiasco, why not just track down their hideout? If they're selling the Xenos on the black market, they ought to have a base somewhere in Arario, right? Probably, Welf. That's a good assumption. But how would we go about searching for something like that? <sighs> Perfectly content selling off monsters to the highest bidder. These people aren't afraid of the dungeon, let alone the gods. I don't think it'll be so easy to find them. <gasps> right, they sell monsters for profit. <laughs> I never would have dreamed of seeing someone like you here, Ard. There's something that I would like to ask you. It regards talking monsters. We know you possess a peculiar sort of transformation magic. You mentioned it once. Something of a plan to lure the monsters out, then capture them and sell them on the black market. At the time, I dismissed it as total nonsense. I thought that no one would pay money for monsters. However, things have changed. I get it. <laughs> you met one, didn't you? One of the talking monsters, that is. Which means, if you were conspiring with those hunters, then you must at least have some idea where their base is. Perhaps you're correct. And perhaps you'll find something interesting on Daedalus Street. So this place connects to Daedalus Street? Yes. They were able to transport imprisoned Xenos to the surface and smuggle them outside Orario, all while avoiding detection. If it is connected to the surface, everything would make sense. Besides, there's that sign. These tunnels are obviously the work of Daedalus, a master craftsman who created several structures that would lay the groundwork for Orario, including Babel and Daedalus Street. <sighs> We have long suspected the possibility of another way to access the dungeon outside of the usual tower entrance. But our investigation had yet to yield results. We finally found it, Uranus. Ikelos. Huh? <laughs> guess you finally caught up with me. I guess you win this round, Hermes. I have no control over the present situation. But as a reward for finding me, I shall answer any questions that you may have. So, what would you like to know? The scent of our brethren grows stronger! Onward! So about the door, Leto. I can't help but think it's a trap! I know. But there's no other choice! I guess while I was passed out, they must 
must have taken her away. What a touching reunion. Congratulations on getting this far, creatures. Welcome to our humble home. You must be the hunter who's been selling our brethren into slavery. Yep, I'm your guy. And I beat some manners into them so that they don't offend our gracious customers. You son of a bitch! Well, honestly, I did have some help. So, I was wondering... <sighs> just how well can you fight while protecting your precious mm -hmm. cargo? Mr. Leto! <laughs> Bouncy? You're the little puke from before. What the hell are you doing here? Huh? Gron, you dumbass. I don't remember telling you to let the damn rabbit boy in here. Uh, wait, it's not my fault. I know I closed the door behind me. Look, Bella. <sighs> Another key. <laughs> uh, so that's how it is, huh? Which incompetent idiot did you swipe that from? Maybe I shouldn't hand them out like candy. Hey, sir. Dix for Dix. Are you the culprit behind this incident? Well, you're a fine one to talk, mage. Now you've got me curious. Just what sort of relationship do you and the little rookie have with these creatures? This man-made labyrinth was built by none other than Daedalus, was it not? How did someone like you lay hold of it? <laughs> There's nothing to tell. This old baby's been pawned off from one generation to the next. And as a descendant of the bloodline, it's really nobody's business how I choose to use it. Descendant? You? What? Is it so hard to believe? Fine then. I'll show you. Definitive proof that Daedalus is my ancestor. <sighs> Everyone who has that shithead's blood flowing through their veins ends up being born with eyes like this. It's the burden we bear. A man-made labyrinth. And a vow that haunts Daedalus's blood relatives to this very day. So what I'm getting is... Daedalus only wanted his own lineage carrying on his work. So he built a door that only opens when it recognizes their distinctive eyes. Yep, and Dix and his pals gouged the eyeballs out of some corpses and turned them into keys. Makes sense. Thanks to you, I'm starting to understand. Now we know what we're dealing with. A thousand years ago, after the gods made their descent, they bestowed their first blessings upon the lower world. Uranus introduced Farna, and amongst his fellow followers was Daedalus. In accordance with Uranus's divine will, he dedicated himself to Orario's construction, and upon completing Babel, he reveled in the gods' praise. He's a genius, and his skills went unmatched. But when said genius laid his eyes upon the breathtaking work of art that stretched just beneath the world's surface, that crackpot lost his freaking mind! An underground labyrinth, the dungeon. In his eyes, it transcends human comprehension. Hence, the perfect work of art. It completely shattered his dreams. It destroyed him! He became obsessed! Once admired for his skills, Daedalus' speech and behavior grew erratic. They called him crazy. Eventually, he vanished into thin air. So do you mean to tell me- Bingo! He left to create a work of art with his own hands that would outshine the dungeon itself. A man-made labyrinth known as Gnosis. What does that mean? Daedalus' legacy. Am I to assume that this place is it? Well... It's not quite finished yet. Humans are bound by the inevitability of death. I'm guessing that even a genius like Daedalus couldn't compete with the mortal effects of aging. The old coot still didn't quit. He dumped responsibility for Kenosis on his descendants along with the blueprints. He even laid it out for him all nice and neat in his little notebook. Ugh. Hold on, Ikelos! If what you just said is true, then... For a millennium, the Daedalus bloodline has been hammering away at these tunnels non-stop. <sighs> and yet, despite a thousand years of effort, the middle floors are the deepest we've managed to get. <laughs> oh, and let us not forget, Daedalus's project ain't exactly cheap. It's costing us time and money. That would explain why your familia ally themselves with Evilus. All of it was for the sake of completing Kenosis. 
So capturing the Xenos and selling them as merchandise was merely a means of procuring uh -huh. funds? Well, at first, anyway. Enough talk. The fact that you disgraced my comrades and murdered Lanier in cold blood has not changed! Accept your punishment! <laughs> Of our deranged ancestor Daedalus. Why? 
Our blood forces us to. It's like the crazy bastard just doesn't know when to shut up. He constantly screams to finish the damn labyrinth. The ache in my eyes and the throbbing inside of my head, it knows no rest. The Kenosis blueprints are in that book and we obsess over them until our bodies melt into quivering sludge. No one can escape it. It's the curse of our bloodline. Your bloodline, it's been cursed? Personally, I despise this labyrinth. If it disappeared tomorrow, I'd be over the moon. You hear that? I don't take orders from anyone but me. See? <clears throat> but it cannot be broken. And to this day, his blood insists on finishing the project. His instructions demand to be followed. And it pisses me off! I used to crawl this dungeon, slaying every monster, but nothing quenched my thirst. Until one day, I ran into them. It was a group of talking monsters. <laughs> it was like someone flipped a switch. Dix was different. So he changed then? Sure did. It happened while he was torturing the monsters to encourage their compliance. Eventually, his eyes started to light up more and more at the sound of each one of their cries. <laughs> They're different from ordinary monsters. They can cry. They have the ability to beg for their lives. Pretty ironic for creatures born from the same dungeon that drove Daedalus insane. I mean, come on, isn't that hilarious? That's when I figured it out. Humiliating and tormenting these beasts, driving them to the brink of despair, treating them like the garbage they are. It's the one thing that satisfies me. The one thing that can assuage this wretched blood. Like that, the means of achieving his goal became the goal itself. Oh, you really should have seen it. The face of a man who had seen the light at the end of the tunnel. The euphoria of it all. Conquering my blood, achieving what was once unachievable. No drink or drug could ever compare. It's the ultimate pleasure. At last, I'd become true to my desires. <laughs> so the Zenos and Rene, that's why you did all this? Excuse me? Do watch your tone, got me? <laughs> You'd never understand! Being a slave to this impulse in my veins, feeling the flames of a curse scorching the back of my eyes, and not being able to do a damn thing about it! Do you get it now? Dix doesn't give a rat's ass about Kenosis anymore. He cares about one thing, and I refer to it as a dream of beasts. <sighs> Don't 
out of her head. No! Don't do it! Please stop it! I won't be the same anymore! Sweet dreams, little lady. Oh crap, you okay? 
I figured paying a visit to Daedalus Street might give us a clue. Now, there are way too many places to look. You're right. I didn't expect this. At this rate, scouting out the enemy space isn't a realistic option. <laughs> appear to be unharmed. Hang on, that's Mr. Argonaut. Why is it always that rabbit dipshit? Miss Eyes, the Loki familiar, but why? Captain, what about the monster? It's missing its forehead stone. We must dispose of it. The Loki familiar? Come on, they're here already? Perhaps they predicted that this would happen. What? Just a hypocrite. You're a dirty, treacherous rat. I... 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 I just... up 
Bell Cronell becomes public enemy number one. She... she belongs to me. This weaver right here is mine, so keep your hands off!
Capturing them. Get down there, eyes. Understood. Ready, Tempest. And Ariel. Just want to help her. 
I slayed the damn creature! I'm the one who killed it! <laughs> My first successful attempt. Almost 800 years. Oh, how bitter I've become towards this worthless magic of mine. But it was worth something after all.
She's alive. What a relief. Vine, Vine. Mr. Bell, thank you so much. Bell Grinnell. Make no mistake about it. The Xenos are safe as a result of your valiant efforts. And that includes Vine. You have my sincerest gratitude. I know, but... Do you regret what you have done? It's just that... The adventurer with the goggles said something. That guy called me a hypocrite. These are my thoughts on the matter. Those who are vilified as hypocrites, they are the ones who have the makings of a hero. Plenty of others have shared a special connection with the Xenos and expressed sympathy towards their plight. However, not a single one of them was willing to put themselves in harm's way as you have done in order to help these creatures. As someone whose flesh has long since disappeared, as someone who has nothing to their name except for bones and regret, allow me to say this. Be a fool, Bell Grinnell. The qualities that you possess are extremely foolish. However, those same qualities are something truly irreplaceable. Miss Aina. I was told of your selfish actions jeopardizing the safety of the city and its inhabitants, and that you inflicted harm upon other adventurers. Is this true? It is. Bell! <laughs> I don't believe it. How could I possibly believe it? and confusion seems to be quieting down now that Ecolos has been exiled from Arario. They've pinned it on the Ecolos Familia and their smuggling ring, including the appearances of monsters on the surface. I'd say that he played his role as a scapegoat rather successfully. However, there's yet to be any sort of conclusion. The Xenos are unable to return to the dungeon. They are concealing themselves within the city as we speak. Swarms of adventurers are scouring every back street and alleyway of Daedalus Street. Not least among them is the Loki Familia. It is merely a matter of time before they are all discovered. Furthermore, with Ikelos now out of the picture, the whole city's taking out their frustrations on Bell. The tide has shifted against him. Indeed, even kind-hearted children can become quite cruel when faced with adversity. And just who does he think he is? Screw you, little rookie! That stupid rabbit made a fool out of himself for the sake of bragging rights! <laughs> oh, how the mighty record holder has fallen. It's gotta be the fame. It serves him right. People used to bend over backwards for him. Those days are long gone. <laughs> <laughs> What the hell, Lord? Quit your yap and just drink. Mikoto Haruhime, welcome home. How was your trip into town? Fairly uneventful. However, the way that everybody looked at us was, um, unpleasant. As we feared. Master Bell's actions have had an impact, and of course, public opinion is growing more and more hostile. The tension was palpable. Oh, figures. Hmm? Is Master Welf still occupied? Yep, hunkered down in his forge. I made up my mind to save her. I don't regret anything. And I don't care what anyone says about me. But... Uh, uh, come in. Hey, Belle, someone's here. A visitor? You're in surprisingly good spirits for someone who's become the most hated man in Orario. Kudos. Hermes! The facts speak for themselves. You've picked up the general sentiment, I'm sure. Did you come here just to tease us? If that's all you wanted, then beat it! The Xenos 
are waiting for your help. <gasps> what do you mean? There's no need to keep up the charade. Uranus brought me up to speed on their existence a while ago. Up till now, I've been working behind the scenes. <laughs> do you know where they might be? Osfi's out with a small team looking, but we've yet to find anything. I suspect that they split up and took shelter in different locations. Regardless, there's a good chance that they haven't left the sewers beneath Daedalus Street. The place is probably crawling with Loki's children by now. Yep. Lady Freya's got Babel under close surveillance, and the Ganesha Familia's got the entrance to the dungeon locked down tight. If monsters were to hide in the city, Daedalus Street seems like the most logical choice. Ice Party is patrolling that area. Wait, Miss Eyes? <sighs> Hermes, it's a long shot, but what if we explain the situation to Loki? I wouldn't call it a truce, but if we could just convince her to look the other way while the Xenos return to the dungeon... Unlikely. <clears throat> Even if Loki were privy to the details, her children would never condone an act of sympathy towards monsters. Don't forget Finn Dimna. He's desperate to reclaim his people's former glory, and he wouldn't do anything to jeopardize that goal. <sighs> Possessing intelligence alone doesn't matter. To Loki's children, a monster is just a monster, and exterminating them is all they know. strange sometimes, Belle. I have no idea why you're so eager to visit Daedalus Street. I'm sorry, but when I heard what Master Hermes said, I couldn't sit around at home any longer. Mm. Hey, kid! Aren't you the little rookie? <sighs> How dare you show your face here? You give adventurers a bad name! Don't try to pretend this isn't your fault! You gonna say something or what? You've really got to All right, nerve. that's a hip out of all Honestly. of you! <sighs> Questionable behavior you witnessed was a result of my financial debts. In fact, you might call it the aftermath of his undying love for me. If you're gonna blame someone, you ought to be blaming me. Let's go, Belle. Oh, all right. I'm so sorry, Goddess. Because of me, we're all... Don't sweat it. You haven't needed a whole lot of hands-on Hestia guidance recently. So it makes me kind of happy. I get to do my job as a goddess again, you know? I appreciate it. Thank you so much. Still, all this attention might make it difficult to search for Vine. Good point. We wouldn't want to do anything reckless.
Can you believe that? So you weren't going to ask me about anything? Well, do you have something you'd like to share? What's bothering you? Uh... <sighs> Bottling up your emotions isn't very healthy, you know? You have friends, Mr. Bell, and also a familia who supports you. It scares me. Huh? I'm afraid that they're going to leave me. I never bothered to ask how they felt. I acted all on my own and dragged my friends along, put them in danger. And... and I didn't. That's my cue. Uh, uh, oh, wait, what? Don't worry. Just relax. Don't be afraid or discouraged. You may have lost a few things along the way. But what matters most will always be by your side, Mr. Bell. <sighs> Personally, I care about the boy who never gives up far too much to leave him. At least take a break for dinner. Also, keep it down so we don't disturb the neighbors either, okay? <clears throat> The Loki Familia's full-scale manhunt across Daedalus Street is now underway, Uranus. With few options left, we have little time to waste. The Xenos could be moving any moment now. Then we know where they've turned to get help. That's correct, Bell and his Familia. However, Kenosis leads to the dungeon and the Loki Familia is restricting access. Even with reinforcements, a frontal assault would ensure their destruction. Perhaps. But all is not yet lost. The blueprints for Kenosis, Daedalus's notebook. Hmm? Mm. Ikelos passed it along to me. After checking out its contents, I can vouch its accuracy. Uranus, allow me to put this whole fiasco to rest. I would expect proper compensation, of course. Well, might be handy. Hmm. Intelligent monsters called Xenos and a labyrinth called Kenosis? We don't have enough manpower, so I would appreciate your cooperation to smooth things over. Ryu, if we can count on you to lend us a hand, we promise to provide you with information on the last few remnants of Evilus. I don't know. Yeah, they might talk and think like us, but I have a hard time getting behind the idea of helping out a bunch of monsters. I mean, they're not exactly the most sympathetic creatures in the world, are they? Our client has requested that the Xenos be rescued. Since you've joined the Hermes Familia, it's important you learn to follow orders. Well, I'm not exactly a pushover, you know. If something doesn't sit right with me, I won't hesitate to make a huge stink about it. <sighs> well, just so you know, Belle Crenell has chosen to show compassion towards these creatures, as you call them. Excuse me? To be completely honest, I'm of two minds as to whether or not we should help the Xenos. I mean, let's face it, their presence on the surface is disastrous. They are even wreaking havoc on the city as we speak. Be that as it may, Takumi Kazuchi and I find ourselves on the fence as well. I have yet to disclose the true nature of the Xenos to my own children. I am genuinely baffled. Is it worth the effort to save them? <sighs> Look, I can't speak to the advantages or disadvantages. However, this can't go on forever. Hmm. In which case, we ought to make our final decision. Are you able to decipher it, Miss Supporter? Uh-huh. As I suspected, it's a letter from Master Fells. He wrote this using a complex code. <sighs> Perhaps to prevent other adventurers from reading it. Tomorrow night, we shall make our way to the entrance of Kenosis hidden along Daedalus Street. We kindly request your assistance. What? I have assembled several key magic items in preparation for our mission. Sounds great, but... I don't know. It feels an awful lot like being lured by a siren's voice. Let's settle this once and for all. It's time to choose which path we want to take. Option one, rescue the Xenos. 
and live the rest of our lives as social outcasts. Option two, abandon them, wait for this to blow over, and go back to our normal lives. Those are our only choices. My mind is made up. Oh. Look, the Zenos, Vine, and Mr. Leto, they need help, and I want to save them. But there's also you guys. Lady asked you. Do you mind if I propose a third option? What do you say we try getting creative? Let's sneak him back in the dungeon. No one gets pissed, and we avoid getting a bad rap. <laughs> Check it out. New magic sword. Got three more sitting in my workshop. I wouldn't expect anything less. <sighs> Five days of work and only made four stinking swords. Can't you squeeze out one more for a nice round number? <laughs> I forged my ass off! If we want to save the Zenos and maybe get the jump on everyone, we can't afford to put quantity over quality. You see, Belle? Everyone's been behind you since the very beginning. There is no doubt in my mind. Master Belle, I shall follow your lead. You have already saved my life once, Belle. I'm sure you remember. There's no way I could lose everything. Honestly, I wouldn't turn my back on you. And I don't want you doing the same to somebody else. I'm used to being an outcast anyway. Hear that, Belle? No leaving us behind this time. You guys. But what matters most will always be by your side, Mr. Bell. <sighs> Thank you. All of you. That's that, then. Now let's get out there and save the Zenos together. <laughs> <laughs> let's go save Vina. Quiet down, they'll find us. 
There are six known entrances to Kenosis. They're hidden beneath Daedalus Street. The northeast, the northwest, then the west, southwest, southeast, and lastly to the east. However, according to our intelligence, the Loki Familia only has four organized defense units at most, which means... They've only found some of the doors, meaning two are unattended. Mm-hmm. Understood. We'll find one of these unguarded doors and penetrate the Loki Familia's defensive line. Mm-hmm. Although, nobody knows which units are stationed outside of which doors. Even Uranus hasn't cracked that yet. Unfortunately, there's no time to investigate the matter beforehand. We must accept the risks and locate an accessible door while we push forward with the mission. <sighs> so then basically, we're bound to have a run-in with the Loki Familia at some point, aren't we? Be that as it may, I would prefer to minimize the number involved in the battle. And that, though, Cronel, is where you come in. Bell Cranell is a diversionary tactic. In other words, they'll use him as a decoy. Hard to say if he's acting on free will, but he's in the position to be exploited by those monsters and their ringleader. Based on their actions so far, I'm almost certain of it. While we're preoccupied with the boy, our enemies will try to make a break for the nearest entrance to the labyrinth. We ought to focus our attention on everything but Bell Cranell. We must protect the doors no matter the cost. Furthermore, we must use extreme caution when engaging that Black Minotaur. If it shows up, prioritize its death over the rest. The enemy will attack soon. Don't let them pass. Stop their rampage. Mr. Former Sage might have old man wisdom, but if he plays this by the book, he'll never outsmart Braver. That guy's far too clever for that. Although Finn Demner probably won't account for the slew of magic items they possess. Makes for a good means of escape, at least. But the most important thing is him. Belle Crenell. No 
bruises have been secured, right? Yes. Everyone is currently in their positions. Good. Now then, it's time to figure out which door the monsters will choose. Bell Cornell has been spotted in the Southeast Quadrant! I see. Not surprising. If he's to be a diversion, the monsters ought to appear in a completely different area. But still, it's possible they're planning to subvert our expectations. Finn, hmm? I'll keep an eye on the boy. Hmm. I'm not so sure. Your attachment to him presents a conflict of interest, Eyes. I won't let him out of my sight. If he attempts anything suspicious, I'll handle it. Should the monsters turn up, I'll stop them. <sighs> Very well. Follow Bell Cornell, then. Bell! <sighs> yes, I'm here. The Guild ordered a mandatory evacuation of all civilians around Daedalus Street. Apparently, they've moved everyone to the main road running east. The operation is a go as planned. Understood. Okay, now, Master Well, Let's see. You'll want to make a turn at the third corner. Gotcha. Okay, thanks a lot. Master Fell's magic items are truly remarkable, aren't they? Amazing how we can track their locations while we stay in touch. Uh-huh. Plus, Uranus was gracious enough to lend us Daedalus's handy-dandy notebook. With this thing, we ought to be able to lead him anywhere. <laughs> My job is to distract. I'll draw the attention of as many adventurers and Loki Familia members as possible. Yeah, 
yet another woman. Please hear me out. Why are there so many women? Come on. Is Belle a playboy? You think he's okay? He's been yelling quite a while. <laughs> Sounds like he's dealing with an unexpected snag in the plan, huh? Don't think there's much we can do about it from here. Wealth, Mikito! The Zenos should be up ahead. They're laying low inside of that drainage canal. Roger that, Lady Hestia. Our dreams of seeing the sky came true, and yet we're forced to sneak around underground again. We might be destined for a life in the shadows after all. <sighs> huh? Sorry for the wait. Mr. Wealth, Miss Mikato, what a relief. You're all safe and sound. Is Belle doing okay? For now, you must have faith in the brat, Vine. You do want to return the favor, don't you? Hmm? It's your what turn, Lito. I'm on it. Where did that boy manage 
Let's get his hands on this.
You crafted these to avoid harming the city, didn't you, Elf? Damn straight. If you follow the path a little longer, you reach a large plaza. Keep on straight ahead. Roger, Lady Haruhime. Heck yeah! Nice work! Kick some loogie ass! I foresee yet another lecture from Riveria in my future. Huh? Magic sword, eh? Let me handle him. Go on without me. Thank you. Everyone, time to move. Down there! It's attacking a 
There's a monster that had its very own reason to live. And it had feelings exactly like ours. What would you do? <laughs> it all makes sense to me now. Miss Eyes, please listen. My answer hasn't changed. If that same monster were to make someone cry, I would kill it without hesitation. <laughs> Why, though? Why? Tell me! Listen to me! The Xenotar's father! Miss Eyes! When that Fuyver rampages again, will you be able to defend its actions? Because I certainly couldn't. <laughs> to a damsel in distress. 
And well, he can't turn his back on family. Family? That's right. And you, Vine, are a part of his precious family. He wouldn't have it any other way. Goddess, I want to be by Bell's side. I can't let it end this way. Are you sure about this? If things go south, it might mean saying goodbye to Belle forever. Are you prepared to die? Yes. I want to be the one to save Belle this time. <laughs> All right, then. <laughs> oh, Vine. Look at how you've grown. Sure that she's safe. And 
there's even more good news. Haruhime located the Xenos who got separated from the group. Sounds like they have a key to Gnosis. Wait, are you serious? But how, though? They said that one of their comrades, a black minotaur, gave it to them. If I had to guess, it's the same one Fallen Woods or whatever fought earlier. Did you say a black minotaur? Anyhow, they're on their way to pick you guys up. Would you do me a favor and escort him to the door? Roger that, goddess. Yes, Lady Hestia. Master Fells and the Zeno Snow. They're relieved to hear that Lady Vina's safe. And I got him into the secret passageway without any problems. They ought to be at the western door any minute now. <sighs> I don't know. Are you absolutely positive that there's a door through here? For sure. Our comrade, the one who gave us this key, said so. It's the door he used to reach the surface in the past. That'll be perfect. Well, I suppose that this is goodbye then. Thank you so much for all of your help. I'll always remember your kindness. If you find yourselves in trouble, we won't hesitate to lend a hand. Thanks, Rhett. Hey, Belle. <laughs> the last time we had to say goodbye, I cried a whole bunch. But that just makes you guys upset too, right? So I won't cry anymore. <laughs> we'll see each other again, won't we? <laughs> you betcha. Spend time together too? Oh yeah, for sure. And that's a promise. One day I'll build us a place where we can all coexist. Might I suggest a pinky swear? A pinky swear? That's right. Back home, it's a customary ritual that symbolizes a vow. Now take each one of your pinkies and hook them together. <laughs> <laughs>
Get them to safety! Oh, all right. Hurry! Come with me! It's Master Gloss! What could they be doing? It can't be. But why, though? But, but, wait a minute, Belle! What is happening? There's no logical reason to force the Xenos into a situation like this. What is your goal here, Hermes? Just think of it as a performance, if you will. The plaza is our theater, and the civilians are our audience. Creatures and adventurers alike have their respective roles to play. Hmm. The stage is set, awaiting the debut of our brave, beloved hero who rushes headlong into battle. Which means that our job is to die on behalf of the brat's reputation. <sighs> in order to restore his honor, he must execute us in front of the general public. <laughs> well, that would certainly speed things up, wouldn't it? But yes, I wouldn't go so far as to say all of you need to die. Maybe three or four of your choosing should be more than sufficient enough. Uh, in that case, I volunteer. <sighs> Wait. We do not have much of a choice in the matter. Everything rests in this god's hands. Come along! This way! Please follow the Ganesha Familia's instructions! Hold it right there! you properly what is this this special item will respond to a certain person whom he holds dear be sure to attack her first understood so this is how i return the favor huh falter not boy or else i shall rip her limb from limb <laughs> It's the Zenos! Why would they suddenly rampage? No doubt Hermes must have put him up to it! Let's hurry! Welp. Sorry, Uranus. About this mess. Coexisting alongside monsters. Don't make me laugh. What do you think would happen if we tried to reverse thousands of years worth of history and hatred? Nobody wants a hero who associates with a bunch of freaks. It's time to get back to your roots, Bell. Got it? Let's get you slaying some monsters again. Wipe them out, rescue the people, and come back as a hero. There he is! Are we just going to let this happen? I mean, sure. From Belchi's point of view, this may very well be the best course of action. But turning our backs on close seems wrong, doesn't it? Heading back into the dungeon without them. I'm not sure how I feel about this. You're mistaken, Leto. Have faith. <gasps> I believe that foolish boy shall rise above the will of the gods.
genuine fool. Osfi, work your magic. I will not ask for forgiveness. Be careful, Bell. <laughs> What the hell? 
The Zeno slipped away from us during the chaos. I think they're likely headed towards Kenosis with the help of Lady Hestia. Damn. That damn monster threw a wrench in my plans. Now everything is gonna go up in smoke. <laughs> to know that things would turn out like this. <laughs> Nobody's ever been this excited about one of my plans. Even I couldn't have come up with something that would top this fight. You knew, didn't you, Zeus? That a boy who defied the will of the gods would shine brightest of all. Come on. You can do it, Bell. <laughs> I'm <laughs> 
thing. What have I actually accomplished? I wanted... I wanted to win.